<laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, we don't know what channel you're on. So if you're here. Hi. <laughs> Uh, these are technically the sprints for reading uh, the Twisted Ones. Yes, the Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher for the live show. Um, next week, you don't have to be reading them to be here. They're just regular sprints if you want. So uh, please tell us in the comments what you're reading. Lexi, what are you reading? Because I know you're not going to be reading this. <laughs> you're correct. I'm going to be starting Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Julia McAllister. Have I finished my other book? Absolutely not. Okay. This one. Wait, you did finish it? No. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> finish a book before starting another one? No. Wait a minute. I was so confused. I did not. <laughs> okay. I have 41 minutes left of this audiobook. Uh, and then I will be starting the Twister ones. Nice. I know. I just I'm I'm in the middle of four books right now. So I was just like, let's just let's just add another one. So yeah, I that's doing, I I, yeah, I will be doing that. So I will be finishing this first sprint, and then I will be going into the twisted ones. Nice. And I'm reading the twisted ones. I'm yeah. At, <laughs> I'm at chapter seven, which I think was like nineteen percent, maybe twenty percent. I don't know, because um, I'm audiobook and physical. Yes, I will be listening to the audiobook as well, but I have the physical okay. as well. You know. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yes. Also, so, I'm listening yeah. to it at three times speed. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so happy that Scrib got three times finally. So yes, yeah. Do we want to quickly explain the whole comment situation? Oh God, yeah. So oh, yeah. depending on whose channel you are on right now, you won't see all the comments that are available to us. So I am going to bring up the comments, and if you are like, "What in the farts? I can't see that," it's because you're you're on a different channel so <laughs> i'm so sorry for the confusion but that's just how Streamyard works and we have no control over that so i'm going to start bringing up comments and if you can't see all the comments you can see them on the screen but like you can't see them in your little comment block that's the end okay here we go hi tammy <laughs> what are you reading hey brie i just got uh your book today i have to leave uh, a review Hi, Deb. What are you reading? Hello. First sprint, I'm going to be finished. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Are you listening to the audiobook of that, Emily? Hi, Rainy. What are you reading? Hi, Tammy. Hi, Ro. 30 minutes left. I I felt like I flew through, like, I listened to it right before rom com and then I listened to it right at the end of rom com and it was... I just like could not stop listening to it basically. Finishing Daisy Darker. That is another book I'm in the middle of. Yep. <laughs> Michelle, um, it is getting better. I feel for like for almost most of it, I was so bored. But now like something is actually happening and I'm like, nice. <laughs> so mm. five stars for Michelle. I feel like it'll be a three star. But we'll see. Because I heard there's a twist. So uh, what else? I'm reading Where the Crawl Dead Sing. I have mixed reviews on it from people. I wasn't sure if I wanted to read it, but I'm glad I did. I have about 110 pages left. It's really good. I, I'm i glad you're liking it. I personally did not like it. <laughs> so, But I'm also not like a literary fiction girly. And it was recommended to me who by someone who is. And so that makes sense. Hello. I'm finishing the Saturday Night. Ghost Club, literally pages, then I'm not, what? Probably like just pages left <laughs> okay. to, to finish it. <laughs> literally pages. Well, I'm sorry. I personally will not be reading Babel. No. I, I think I might attempt it with like a library something. I don't think I'm going to buy it, but like FOMO. That's it. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I, I don't I don't know. I'm out of the loop. Um, it's, it's like dark academia fantasy. Some something along those lines. Mm. That does not sound like me at all. But people are really loving it. So like yeah, I'm yeah. I'm excited for those people, but like I just know myself and I absolutely will not be doing that. Well, like I I really liked Ninth House and that's kind of The vibes. That yeah. I, it, I could be wrong, but like yeah. Um, uh, Ro, are you going to be reading that one? 
Um, I'm currently in North Carolina. <coughs> I'm in Maryland. And I'm in Pennsylvania. So East Coast. <laughs> Where are you from? I will be editing and reading Ashes of the Sun tonight. Editing is so fun. Oh my God, Brie, your video from today was so good. <laughs> Also, I haven't watched it yet, but I saw it. Oh, my it. God. It Please was, go watch it. Rebecca? No, it was Corinne, and it could possibly be written by Stephanie Meyer under oh. a pen name. Yes. Interesting. So good. Hmm. Rhode Island, also East Coast. That's awesome. Hi. Ooh, oh, twins. <laughs> what are you thinking of this so far? <laughs> I'm in the middle of four books, so yes, I'll be starting the twist. Me too, Deb. Deb, I love watching your Instagram stories where you're um, doing your roles for Book Up with them. I'm so invested. I love all of her uh, pictures with her dog. I think mm -hmm. the dog's name is Kylie. Oh my yeah, God. In costumes, please. Yes. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> okay, yeah, the audiobook was very good. Ooh, nice, Tammy. Mm -hmm. I'm reading A Taste of Golden Iron, Adult Gay High Fantasy Romance. That's amazing. Sav hated you're invited, so I had all been. <laughs> I had someone on one of our sprints say, like, they gave it two stars, don't even waste your time. So I was like, immediately I had to get it to see. <laughs> I have the audiobook on hold because it's a literally dead book club pick for October. Yeah. Um, I was going to read it anyway, but I'll at least listen to it confusing <laughs> i'm so sorry it's technically the same exact thing so yes we appreciate you sorry the book <laughs> i'm sorry we're all literally laughing at you right now but <laughs> it just <laughs> that makes sense that makes sense <laughs> Oh, I'm crying. Sorry <laughs> about your pain. Uh, I'm excited to get to Babel hopefully later this month. That's awesome. It looks humongous. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. No, absolutely not. I will not be <laughs> um, I, I did not like this one particular thing in the book and it made me like hate all of it. And I don't know if it's, yeah, I don't think it's a spoiler, but the main guy is a football player and he gets like sexually assaulted and she just like laughs. And it like turned me off the whole book. Mm -hmm. I'm like very big on consent. Everyone should know this. I'm like super big on consent in real life and in books. And when he got sexually assaulted by a fan, the like woman he was with laughed and I was out. Mm -mm. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to do that. Hi, Gabby. Nice. Yes. <laughs> At least people are actually reading it. This is good. Oh, exciting news, everybody. Michelle and I have tickets to go see Grady Hendrix. So. Yes, we're seeing Grady yeah. Hendrix. Oh, my God. Here's what happened. So the tickets were supposed to go live at 8 a.m. I'm there at 8 a.m. And they're still like, you need a passcode to get in. So I'm like, am I dumb? Because I could be. It was very <laughs> early in the morning, you know? And I was like, all right. So I went through all of the information. It said 8 a.m. So I finally emailed someone and was like girl what am i dumb and she was like no it was supposed to go up automatically and it didn't and we were all scrambling this morning and i was like well at least it wasn't me for once so <laughs> uh yes but we're going to see grady hendrix in like two weeks nice that's soon and yes kylie in her costumes <laughs> i'm so excited like i'm i'm obsessed with those pictures they just like make my whole day I'm trying to read the first volume of Death Note. I like Death Note. Then going to read the first. Oh, I like Paper Girls too. <laughs> Both of these are very good. I hope you like them. We are technically in the wrong order if I'm doing this, but that's okay. I took charge of comments tonight. It it depends. So if you are on Michelle's channel, then yeah, it would be. But it's just I joined Streamyard first, so I'm showing up. First. I can remove you. Bye. <laughs> Kicked out. I can remove you. <laughs> I almost got it from Book of the Month, but didn't like September choices, so I skipped. Yeah. 
my eyes blurry. I gave your invite a 3.5 in the end. I liked her previous. Oh, yeah. I was, uh, I kind of cheated and looked at reviews of this one to see if I should DNF or not. And people are, were like, wait, wait for the twist. And I was like, okay, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. So, but people said that they loved her first book a lot. So, mm -hmm. we'll but, ooh, I love that. I hope you're liking it. I also tried to put. <laughs> I saw this earlier and I started laughing. Relatable. Katie. <laughs> yes. I reminded Katie also. So we were good. Yeah, I forgot about it. Michelle's like, I got the tickets. And I was like, I just woke up. I don't know. What to <laughs> I forgot this was today. <laughs> I did not forget. I did. I did not forget. <laughs> I would not be going if you did not <laughs> get my ticket for me. Yeah, it was pr it. It's, like, really close after they start this arrangement. They, like, go to Las Vegas or something, and a fan comes up to him, and they get a picture, and she gropes him. Like, literally sexually assaults him. And so I was like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go forever. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sarah. Sarah. It was so stressful. And, like, Casman's making fun of me, and he's like, this is... For nerds, it's not gonna sell out. And I'm like, listen, this he's not gonna be at the festival. This is literally the only thing Grady Hendrix is doing. Shut up and let me live my nerd life and let me get these. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sarah. I have to watch your video from today. Today I had a birthday party for a three-year-old. So it wasn't my three-year-old, it was a different three-year-old. So like I haven't really done anything except chase him around. Oh, and then we brought a balloon home and it popped on the way home and he was like the saddest human being in the whole world. And I was just like, oh God. <laughs> Sarah's doing um, every other day vlogs, like two days at a yeah. time for the readathons. Go Sarah. I know. Couldn't be me. I mean, could I, be, but it's not. I know like, Taylor Jenkins Reid sold out in like two days, I think. And I was like, like, he's not a book person. So he like doesn't get it. But I was just like, you're so mean. Oh, it's not no. you. So sorry, I went over this in the beginning, but we're streaming from all three of our channels at once. So depending on whose channel you are, are on you're only seeing those comments on that channel but we can see all the comments from all three channels so i'm able to bring them all up i'm super sorry for the confusion it's Streamyard. it isn't me of course <laughs> me and grady hendrix are in the fight after his last book so i don't know if i'm gonna read the new one. i what what last book yeah which one like in chronological order or the last book you read? What was his, was Southern Book Club's guide the last one that came out? No, uh, final support group, girl group, final uh, girl support group. I got it. <laughs> Did you? Oh, I got you it in the long run. run. <laughs> yes, it was a very long run. It was a very long one, but I got it. <laughs> yeah, he said, we're little book nerds and we. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Really? Tube. <laughs> <Your tube. laughs> I had never been to book con. So 2020 was the year I was supposed no. Yeah. 2020 was the year I was supposed to go to book con. And obviously. Where is book con? It's in New York. Interesting. Yeah. And now I don't think it's ever happening ever again. Really? Yeah. They like. I think it was last summer they came out with an article and they were like, so I don't think we're doing this ever again. And I was like, oh, so that sucks for me personally, because I wanted to go. Huh. Hello. Wait. Um, I don't, I honestly don't know. We'll be here for a while. Yeah, because Monica works and I have children to look after. So we will, we will definitely see. Yes, I am. So it's not you. It's us. It's StreamYard, really. It's not really me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we should probably explain it every time we come back from sprints. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay, that's the end of comments. The end. The end. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> uh. <sighs>
Y'all West. So I have Y'all Fest, but I'm not really into YA anymore. Also, they haven't, um, words, they haven't uh, announced the authors for this year. But I don't, I don't know. I just saw one that's happening in New Orleans that Katrina Ward is going to be at. And it's like not even something I'm interested in. It's some sort of fantasy thing. And I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) why is she at a fantasy one? Apparently she's nominated for some fantasy award. For Sundial? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really look into it, but I was like, because um, T. Kingfisher is going to be there too, but like that makes sense. That does mm-hmm. make sense. But I don't know why Katrina Ward's going to be there. Sometimes I think about readings when I read Sundial and it just feels like a fever dream. <laughs> like, what even was that book? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's great. I thought it was good. I don't remember what I rated it. It was good though. It was just. That was also like I listened to it the audiobook and it was just a lot. Yeah. Yeah. When the so what year did I go to I think my last year at Y'all Fest was 2018. And that was when I was still like really into YA books, obviously. So like I had a fucking great time. And like Morgan I, Nelson was there and Jenny Han was there. I really need to figure out what that thriller one was. Yeah. Because I know it was in New York. And I want to go. I don't know if it's even open to like the general public. But I need to figure out what that was. You're in charge of the cat. It's already up. Oh. Did you miss that whole part where I put I it did. I was looking at... Uh, and then switched back to... Deb's comment, yeah. All right. Do we want that or do we want that? No, oh, it's up to you. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Hi, Kaylee. Hello. I can zoom in a little bit. Can you still see that? Yeah. Okay. Are we reading now? It's up to you. Well, I can hit start. Or yeah. I can not. <laughs> yeah, we'll read now. Heart desire. Okay, Michelle said we're reading. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, are you going to read? I don't know.
I forgot I was muted. Hello. <laughs> I was like, it's really quiet. I was like getting ready to talk and I saw the little microphone thing and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> How did everyone do? Um, I'm 42 pages into this. Nice. Um, I finished, oh, it's all the way over there. I finished You're Invited and I'm going to give it three stars. Solid. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. I said um, for no reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I read 48 pages of the Twisted Ones. Nice. I want to ask you how you're liking it so bad, but I'm not. I mean, you can say if you're like. Okay. I'm not going to DNF it. Not. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Hannah. Reading Legacy Witches. That sounds awesome. Ward was nominated for Best Novel for 2022 World Fantasy Awards. Wow. Yeah, I saw this for The Last House on Needless Street, which is weird. That, that is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for my vlog dropping on Thursday. I'm that girl all the time. It's totally weird. I know you are. I'm like, here's all of my plans to everybody. Nope. I'm like, you'll like, see it when it comes I'll out. Like, I'll, I'll text you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Well, nobody knows what my vlog is that I'm reading this book for. <laughs> Just starting the book. Yay. I'm hopping between swings. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. Yeah, okay. How are you? What are you reading? Everyone, I'll be reading a digital arc and author sent out. That's fun. Excited. How we are. We're always sprinting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Okay, just real quick before you continue, Michelle. Uh -huh. um, one, we are live on all three channels. So if you are on Michelle's sprints and somebody comments on mine, they are you're not going to see them in your comment section, but they'll come up for us. So if you see comments on the screen that are not in your chat, that is why. Um, they're on a different video, but it's still the same thing. Um, so that's the only difference. Two, everybody should be linked in, like, the description for everyone. So if you are not subscribed to everybody, um, you should check everyone out because we are a book club that um, does sprints and a live show every month. This month we're just doing extra, um, but that's it. Cool. <laughs> Reading for the save Judas Sonnet. Nice. <laughs> Love that for you. Finish the Saturday Night Ghost Club, four and a half, and 20 pages. And ooh, I love Ace of Spades. I hope you like that one. <coughs> I did pretty much nothing, but I ordered Chipotle. That's, nice. something. That's something. I'm very happy for you. I love that. Made it 16% to the Twisted Ones. Are you listening to the audiobook too, Deb? Is it good? What do you think of it, Monica? I think it's good. Okay. Um, there was one point where <laughs> there's like in, in the physical book, it's like in italics when it's her thoughts. Uh -huh. it's just one character. Um, oh, but okay. I, the, the thoughts are so much faster in the audiobook. <laughs> and at one oh, point I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I have no idea what the thought was except for reading it physically because yeah. it went so fast. But mm -hmm. um yeah, I think it's pretty good. Okay. Are the italics as thoughts a normal thing? Like, I know Darcy Coates does that a lot. But, I like, is that, is that something a lot of people do? Because I feel like I haven't really read a lot of books where we're getting, like, I, because I feel like that usually only happens when it's in third person and you're not, like, mm, getting, yeah. like, they're actually in their head. I yeah. know. I think it's more of like when the thoughts are specifically targeted towards a specific um like like feeling of fear or like it it's not necessarily like all thoughts it's just yeah. when there's some it's like a the specific reaction to something significant um, yeah or where like she is describing her thoughts mm. so the what she describes her thoughts are as is the italics kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Because I know a lot of people don't like that. 
Mm. Um, like a lot of people hated the haunting of Ashburn house whenever the book troop had it as their pick because she's by herself and it's just like italics half the time. <laughs> oh. It doesn't well, bother me. It doesn't bother me either. It was like weird at first, but once I realized what was happening, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it's mostly like if if I was talking to myself and being like, gosh, Monica, you're so dumb. Like it, that would be in italics. Like it's not necessarily like all of her thoughts. It's just her yeah. like significant reactions. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if the outsiders, now I don't know what to read. Ugh, sorry, mm-hmm. Dina. Do you have options? I should just ball in my reading lamp. <laughs> to tell him now I can read. That's good. That's, That's progress. Something. There are 38 pages of Legacy Wishes. Which is, sorry. Hello, 13% Final Girls by Riley Sager. This is the only Riley Sager that I really like, so I hope you like it. <laughs> I have about 30 pages left of Death Note. Loving it. I love Death Note. I love that you're reading it. I read like 15 pages and then Teddy got into a big burst of energy. <laughs> yeah, Bowser did too. He stole my pumpkin that somehow, I don't know if it was on the ground or if he took it off my bookshelf, but I had to chase him for that. <laughs> so fun. It was, it was a whole thing. I have cats. Ugh. 10%. Nice. Do you do this live every day, Lexi? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Not every day, but a lot. Yes. Yeah, Michelle and I do sprints at least, probably usually four to five times a week. Yeah. If not more. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, page 60 of your invited. Slow. Yeah. I feel like it didn't pick up until like 60% in, Stephanie. So. Hmm. Read a little bit of the final gambit, but I keep being distracted. That's okay. Reading is so hard. I finished Daisy Darker. Ooh, how many stars did you give it? Like the audio. That's good. Yes, I'm on audio. I think it's good. It's very mm-hmm. controversial narrative style. Style, so that translates well to audio. Ooh, mm-hmm. okay. So, yeah. I get that, too. I think, what did you? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I kept reading. <laughs> you five so stars. Good. I don't know. It just works for. I am only. I saw I'm fifty four percent into Daisy Darker, and I was loving it. So, I'm finishing like a book a day for the. I say this, but I'm not going to read it all this weekend. I'm supposed to read Mary. Absolutely not going to happen. So. You know, I say you're not gonna read Mary this weekend. There's no way it's gonna happen. Mm. Listen to the audiobook. Ooh, that's good. This is my first T King Fisher, and I'm a little nervous. This will be my third. I'm this excited. My first, so. And you're liking it? Mm-hmm. You're not gonna DNF. I'm not gonna <laughs> DNF. I'm at least intrigued enough to keep going and figure okay. out what's going on. I like don't want to DNF any of our book club books because then what do I talk about? But like, right. So. Yeah. Unless it's so significant of a DNF that you have so much to talk about. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So it's the other way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting traps again. They might be. Do you? Please hold. <laughs> Wait, what chapter did you say you were on, Monica? Um, I just started chapter 10. Oh. Nice. Are they short chapters? Um, they're not terribly long, no. Oh, they look pretty short. All right, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know. This is, it's like just this. And this is what the um, back one is. Well, that is the back one. The front, like, they're the same. They're just, you know. That's cool. But there's no other pictures. Hi, Michelle. Just finished the Twisted Ones today. Ooh. (laughs) I'm starting Old Country by (laughs) Matt. Oh, my God. I was going to get the cat. (laughs) I forgot about it. (laughs) 
<laughs> I was like, I got this. <laughs> I'm excited to hear what you thought of the twisted ones. I'm about to start it right now. And Monica is on chapter 10 and Lexi hasn't started it yet. So that is the update for you. The usual. <laughs> the usual. Yeah. Yeah. It's only the, on the end pages. The only other thing that's like in it is the chapter breaks that are just this black page with a squiggle. Oh, okay. I was like, are there pictures in here? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I, I read it like the whole time. I followed along while listening to the audiobook. Bye, Deb. Mm -mm. I'm a little hesitant to pick up the twist ones. I can't seem to find info about how bad a. Oh, yeah. Um, Katrina has read it and she's on Instagram. It's uh, Extreme Katrine Reads, I think. Um, I'm sure if you messaged her, she would help you out. Because I think she read it sometime recently. And she's nice, so. <laughs> I only drink cold coffee, so I love this for you. <laughs> Our coffee is gross. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to happen. It's not gonna like I could do Mary in one weekend, no problem normally, but I'm gonna have people in my house all weekend. So it's just absolute like can I leave? Probably. Should I? Probably not. Will I? I got the audiobook because my hold is never gonna come in. Yeah, I got the audiobook as well. I just used a credit for it. I, I'm aware. <laughs> I think I think fairy tale is like 24 hours or something stupid. <laughs> yep, hate myself. I was wanting to start the Twisted Ones with you guys tonight, but I need to keep reading the It Girl. Ooh. Please. I think this was good. I think I probably would have given it four stars if I didn't read it right after The Last Housewife. Um, but I still stand by the fact that it was too long. It looks big. It's, it's, it's too long. It's, it's, yeah. Why do they do that? I, it's a, I skipped it. <laughs> we didn't see. I didn't what see anything. About? Why are all these books so long? I just want like 300 page books. All, that's all I want. That's really rude. Nice. I read it last year trying to think of the trigger warnings. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also know that if you are on the story graph, they do have like their mm -hmm. content warnings on there um, in like uh, like major, minor, and like uh, another. There's like three categories to tell you how, like, graphic intense, the yeah. thing intense. Okay. Yeah. Um, the thing is, so that might, yes, it most definitely was. I'm so glad you think so. It was great. I read it in like one day. It was so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the doll room. Can't wait to figure out what that is. <laughs> I'm like I want to start it but like maybe I can I don't know I might start it early because I also might put it in a certain vlog that I might start yeah even though I just started another vlog okay I don't know what I'm gonna do it's like 420 pages and yet it's feeling like four stars for me because of pacing could be five stars if yes yeah i think the ending was really good but it just like the lady talks about being pregnant too much Ew, i hate that for me in particular yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like we we watch her go to her doctor's appointment and talk about her blood pressure all the time that's very important though yeah, but like <laughs> I don't want to read about that. No, I absolutely don't want to read about that. Like, that. I I get it, and, like, a little bit would have been fine, but it was just, it felt excessive. And I'm like, yeah. if you want to cut this out, Miss Ruth Ware, we could have um, had a better time with this. Mm -hmm. I still, I read backlist books all the time, Kiki, if that makes you feel mm -hmm. better. There Also, there's never going to be a day that you catch up because <laughs> new books come out every week. I, yeah, you know, like I'm, I'm never gonna be, gonna be caught up, and I've read a thousand books so far. So, like, you know, it's just never gonna happen. Yep. Oh Maybe. wait, 
Michelle yep. just read it. So, Michelle, are you on Instagram? Am I on Instagram? Why you? Oh. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> we gotta call her glitter. <laughs> well, you didn't just read the twisted one. I was so confused. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Michelle might be able to help you. Not you yeah. might be able to I help understand you. <laughs> yeah. um, I just looked it up on StoryGraph because I was I wanted to see like what content warnings, but then I saw things and I was like, well, that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't look because I don't need, <coughs> need right. to. I am <laughs> the same way. So like I don't know why I did that. Why'd you but do I that? I just I wanted to know like if there was anything significant that like whatever but then i saw like other things that i was like well <laughs> i guess that's coming <laughs> uh i bought mary specifically for the read along discord but i'm so behind on my yeah and mary's just like such a long book is gonna take like all weekend i feel like yeah yeah the discord will still be up though so. yeah i'm like i'm gonna get to it soon but i was just uh very optimistic when i was like yeah I can do it. I was wondering because I didn't want to be left out, but now I'm just gonna leave myself out. You know. <laughs> also, I think the dog is okay in the twisted one. <laughs> I love that. That's. Oh my gosh! I read a book where the dog did die, and I was like, I was not expecting it because I feel like hardly ever the dog dies. Out. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say what it was, but okay. Mm -hmm. It is wishful thinking. Like I'm, I'm always gonna be behind, basically. Yeah. I love listening to Ruth Ware's books. Imogen Church narrates all of them. Fantastic narr. That's that's good to know. I still have not read one Ruth Ware, but I own like two. Two. Now. Um, it's fun because she's like on the phone a lot, and whenever. Because it's the same narrator the whole time, but whenever, like, the person she's talking to on the phone is responding, it's, like, they they put a sound effect over it to make it sound like you're hearing them through the phone. Yeah, I, it's just, uh, words. I saw that in my thing today. Your video. Yeah, I, I watched it. <laughs> That's how I know. <laughs> Sorry, my my brain. I don't know. I I was like, I'm pretty sure this is probably what she's going to say. That's what I'm trying. I went to this stupid party and now I'm dead. Okay, I don't understand. <laughs> mm. okay that's good we want the dog to be okay i feel like the cats are always okay oh i read another book where the dog wasn't okay either <laughs> you need to stay away from the dog books i didn't know it was gonna happen in either one of them i mean like i survived but Mm, so I've only ever read Gone Girl, Gone Girl. out of these, but it was okay. so good. Wait, to nephew. Oh. Oh, know. like the Chronicles of Narnia, the Narnia one? Yeah. That's a solid one. Are you going to invest in the whole series? Because that's... I mean, it won't take that long, honestly. They're very short. But I do love Gone Girl. <laughs> I love that for you. I yeah. love this, Katrina. <laughs> fantastic in the books i read the dogs die 90 first not a d die oh, I, I know at least one that i that i'm talking about amy has read so yeah you know as soon as i said that i thought of three books automatically that i just read this year and i was like what am i even talking about they have all yeah, that i just i what was that book that i just read where something happened to a cat like very early on and i'm like yeah what book was that? Because I think you also read it, Michelle. I need you to tell me. I'm thinking of one that you haven't read yet. So you I don't. You said three. Yeah, but I got one that I was like not prepared for. And that was. Well, there was a whole book about animal cruelty that we all read. Well, I do know that. Well, uh, what? You at least know what it is. You at least know what it was. You well, got to talk about it tonight. It's one of your favorite books. Yeah. We talked about the author. Oh, oh. That, see, that <laughs> did not bother me at all because it wasn't like, like, let me beat this dog to death. Yeah. It doesn't really bother me. Oh. 
<laughs> yes. Yep. Yes, David Sodergren is good about having the dog's tail. <laughs> Yeah, same. The dog usually dies in the books I read. I hate 99% of the time. I was ranting about horror doing it too often. Yeah. 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 That's what we were trying to tell you. Yep. Yeah, I, I got it. Oh, took you yeah, that, that's the thing for me. It wasn't like it was like the pet. It was very like clinical to me. Yeah. So it did not yeah. bother me. But there was just a lot of animal abuse in general. Yeah, it still didn't bother me. Like, somebody literally said that it was animal cruelty in that book, and I was like, what? And then it I was like, right. You're oh, talking actually, about yeah, it is. <laughs> but I just didn't, I just didn't read it as that, even though that I wasn't, it was. yeah. I yeah. don't know. It wasn't, it also wasn't like the animals were a character that you grew, like, super attached to. Mm. That, I feel like, happens a lot when yeah. the dog dies. It's because you were attached to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This makes sense. Yeah. Was there? I don't remember. Well, if you don't like animals dying, don't listen, don't read Pet Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> You've been warned. Why As if the title didn't give it away. <laughs> I really need to know what book I read where the cat was like, it was very soon into the book something happened to the cat. And what the heck was it? Hmm. I feel like dog dust just feel cheap to me. Like the author doesn't work to get emotion from the reader. It's just mm -hmm. easily manipulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like that's that's really prominent in horror. And um, I, we talked about something else being prominent in horror. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. I just read it. I'm really upset. <laughs> Stay awake should be good. I'm excited for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to I'm get so it. sorry this one isn't going to work for you. Oh, my God. Oops. Stay awake has a cat. Oh, no. Like a fun cat or... A <laughs> fun cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Tammy. What about the other ones you uh asked about? Are they available? Was it in sorry, I'm really stuck on this thing that there was cat in it. I don't know. I know I updated my vlog saying like uh something about it being rude. I don't know what it was. I'm not going to go watch my videos. The cat doesn't see, see harm. Oh, cool. Brady Hendrix kills a dog in another book, uh, and he got a lot of hate for it and said he would never do it again. Interesting. Interesting. Which one's available to me? I don't... Whichever one they were talking about that I don't know. <laughs> Stay mm -hmm. awake has a cat if anyone needs more info about it. I, can, I read Stay awake recently. Yep. Yeah, I don't like to read it, but, like, I'm not going to not read a book because of it. Yeah, that's how I feel. I don't need, like, trigger warnings for that, but also, like, I don't like it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone likes it. I hope not. Yeah, I, hope I mean, not, we, yeah. we could hope. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really speak for everyone, can I? Yeah. <laughs> is this a, um, is this young adult fantasy game? I feel like I know exactly what this cover looks like. And now I have to look it up. Yeah, I don't know. I still know I, what were you saying? I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I read with a cat What's in it. You couldn't, did you, you didn't look through like your recently read book? I did, but I still can't remember. Um, yeah. Um, I liked Night of the Mannequins more. I think the writing style is kind of similar, but more rambly in this one. And I feel like not a lot happens until the end. Um, but this one does deal with, um, indigenous culture more. So that's like some interesting stuff in here. So that's my opinion on that. 
Go for it, Tammy. Same. <laughs> I just like choked on it. All right. Well, she she's dying. <laughs> I think that author is coming to this that festival. Pretty sure. Really? Yeah, I don't want to cry when I'm. Yeah, I completely understand that. I just want to be scared. I liked the only good Indians. I gave it four stars. Slow burn, but worth it in my opinion. I also gave it four stars. Katrina recommends it. Neva, hi. Library Hello. just released my hold on this book. Nice, yay. It gets gruesome. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I have Should my I? AirPods in and Siri's like, yes. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Should I buy Stay Awake or should I just listen to the audiobook? Because I don't have it physically. Um, don't talk to me because you know what I'm going to say. Monica, you know what you should do? What? Should get it from the library. That means I have to go to the library. Yeah, but then you, <laughs> you can get a library card. How many more things? And like once you get the card, you I most libraries still probably do curbside pickup. Or like you can put a hold on it and then they like put it in an area where you don't have to do anything. You're right. Okay. You're okay. right. I can't read another Stephen Graham Jones. I hated the only two books I read. My heart is a chainsaw and neither mannequins. Yeah. Michelle says whatever is cheap. <laughs> Agreed. She needs to get a library card first. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um I mean, I don't I don't know how I need to look up how our library system works because like I think the county has like a library system and I don't know if the card that we have from our last library is active in our current one as well. Yeah. Usually if it's the same system, it is the same on everything. Um, so I'll have to look that up. Yeah, it it should be okay. Um, yeah, but you can also, like if you don't have a card yet, you can still look at their um, uh, catalog online. I am literally searching it right now. I like how Michelle commented as all of us saying BRB. Yep. <laughs> I saw BRB, BRB, BRB. Yep. Oh, there is one available. This is interesting. I didn't listen to the audiobook for Sundial. I read an arc of it, so I um I have I don't know anything about the audiobook. It's weird. I'm sorry, I commented as everyone. I know we saw that really. Right. I, mean, I like watched it go and I was like, stupid. <laughs> Guess we're all leaving. My bad. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Interesting. Hmm. Really I have sense. a big library system near me, so I have a bunch of options, but I know everybody doesn't have that, so. Hmm. Katrina knows what's good. She has good book taste. Nice. Hmm. That's hard. Uh, apparently, it looks like the library has a copy. So during our next sprint, I have to go find the library card so I can input our information and hopefully reserve it. That's exciting. I have a copy because I pre-ordered it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on hold for the, I don't know where my phone is. Um, what the heck? For the audiobook? The audio is mm. unscribed. It's unscribed. Yeah. It? Yes. I checked cool. today. I was like, I should probably read those at some point, and it's on here. Yeah, I um, like if I can get it through Libby, I'll listen to that because I can like change the speed more. Mm. But that really sucks. I'm so sorry to everybody. I really read this as I started a hike a couple years ago, and I was like, <laughs> that, was, that was just me. That's why <laughs> you're still there. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, that's kind of fun. That's though. cool though. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I did not know that. Mm hmm. So pretty. So true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't reread either, but I just. I'm a 30 parent. books? <laughs> <laughs> people used time. to come in like every week to the library and take out like 50 to 100 books i know whenever kayla does i probably her, did when i was a kid kayla does her end of the year stuff she literally checks out every single book that she doesn't own a copy of and like one time said she had at least like i don't remember it was a, a good amount of books that she just like had to take so that she could take a video yeah I think I can have a hundred. Yeah, it's a hundred. Did I mean Ask you me. I used to work there? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't think they changed that. Me too, Kaylee. Me too. Yeah, Hoopla does. And I don't remember if Google Play does, but I know they also have a feature where you can take out any of the extra added spaces in a book. That's cool. In the audiobook. Hmm. It's weird. Most big library systems let you take out a hundred physical books for like three week term, term, you know, and you can, and then like the only thing that limits you is audiobooks on digital. So that's like, that's it. And a lot of the other restrictions are for like DVDs and stuff, mm -hmm. but you could take out a hundred books at a time in most big systems. Huh. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I really like videos like that, but like I would not. I don't want to do that. I, I wouldn't take out, like, I wouldn't go get all the books. And I also would not insert pictures of everything. Mm -hmm. And just talk about it, and then you yeah. can pretend. <laughs> you can pretend them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That just yeah. happened in your invited. Like I thought something was wrong with the audiobook. And it was it was at three times it was at 3.4 times speed. And it was still like the longest pause. And I was like, what is happening? Yeah, it's um it, I don't remember what it's called. Um but I didn't know it was a thing because I don't often listen to like or get audiobooks on Google Play, but I get like these points. Yeah, Castleman has like a billion points. Yeah, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like a survey thingy. Yeah, he does a survey like every yeah. time. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. I just return them as I read them. I'm lucky my library is tiny, but it gets books from mm -hmm. all over. That's cool that they do like uh that's called interlibrary loan. That's cool. Oh yeah. I love the library. When I have books on hold, I feel so cool. <laughs> I went to the library today to print out two Pango things, and I'll, I was the first one there. I went at, like, exactly 9 o'clock, and I was like, what? <laughs> Limit for my library system is 25, but adults get around it by getting library. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's so weird. So in my last library system, you you could get your kid a card, like, as a newborn, and in my library system now, they have to be four to get a library mm -hmm. card. And I was Four. like, that is so weird. I think like oh, I made like a weird face and they were like, and I was like, I used to work for this place that I live. And, and they were like, oh. I would have made a weird face anyway. Like people still it's weird, weird. Like, before they're four. Because I was getting ready to get Rowan and Theo cards. And he was yeah. like, oh, is he four? And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was really weird. Oh. That's been happening with Daisy Darker. It keeps pausing. Yeah, I noticed that too. It's really weird. I hate pauses in audiobooks. I was like, that is exactly what yeah. I thought. It, like, my audiobook was at 3.4 times speed, and it was still a big pause. And I'm like, what are you yeah, doing? It's, it's where I can just click trim silences. That's awesome. And then it takes out all the extra pauses. That's amazing. Yeah. I went down everything. I owe my library $15. <laughs> um, both of the libraries that I have cards for, it, or three, I guess, um, none of them do fines anymore. Mine doesn't do fines, but if you put something on hold that's, like, from a different system and they have to deliver it and you don't pick it up, then they charge you a dollar. 
Yeah, I remember so that. Like, and they probably do DVDs, I assume. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to ever. I know, but I would like, that's where we got all the money before it was DVDs. So I'm assuming they didn't take that away. I get most of my books from Libby, though. I just don't have the time or energy. To go. Yeah, I only go to the library for story time and to print off. I don't have a printer, so I and printing is free there. So I just print off my Pango stuff there. You know? I go to pick up um, holds, but I don't go and browse. Yeah, mm -hmm. because what's the point? I'm going to buy it anyway, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure when I was a kid, the rule was you had to be able to write your name. And Okay. Mm. Fair enough. But, like, I don't know. So, the old library system that I worked for, like, the parent had responsibility for the card. So, like, yeah. if you had $50 in fines on your kid's card, that was your responsibility, you know? So, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I don't understand. Like, I would still be responsible for Rowan's card when he's four. You think he's going to be responsible for his card? No. Right. I am. <laughs> Yeah. Four year old or like a three year old's not gonna have their own money anyway. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah. I thought that was so weird. I made the weirdest face, I am sure. Script has been doing a, that a lot lady lately. Yes. It just randomly goes silent but keeps playing. Yes, that happened mm -hmm. to me, and I thought it was just my phone because my phone is my out or to die. And I, I was like, it must that. be my phone. That's weird. That too. It's happened yeah. like th two or three times just during the last sprint. And I was like, mm. Can you know? Yeah, I have noticed that too. So I'm like, I'm glad it's not just my phone that right. definitely needs replacing, but also that really sucks. It's kind of annoying that I owe them because it's from books that were like, why how that really sucks. Mm. Yeah, I feel like a lot of libraries in the future are going to get rid of fines, like all fines. Yeah, honestly, if you tell them, they might. They won't care. It. So sorry. My library told me that like the like. They said that there was a fine if I don't pick up a hold, but they also said if I'm sick and call them, then they won't find me. Oh, okay. I know, like, the other one wasn't going to do that. Mm. They only limit your holds to 25, so I have a revolving holds list. We don't have fines either, but I just got 10 books from Pango today. Nice. Good for you. Melton, yes, Kiki. Seems like a lot of libraries. Are, yeah, my library mm -hmm. system is planning. So we, the library system that I worked at um, before, we had talked about going fine free and the director said we had over a million dollars in fines that like Dang. we could get if people paid their fines, right? But I guess then COVID happened and there was like a lot of talk about you know, poverty and not having resources available to people. And we were like, we have been literally trying to tell you this for years, lady. And then yeah. there's no problem now. So, like, it's really interesting how COVID changed so many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like, I wouldn't, like, I feel like it's embarrassing to have to go and pay a fine. Like, it... So when I lived in Maryland and worked for that system, people were so mean to me. And I am not kidding. I was a child working at the library and they would like yell at me for their fines. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you. You brought your thing back late. That is yeah. like not my fault. And then I moved to the South and people were like, oh my God, I am so embarrassed. I am so sorry. Here have $25 billion for this fine. And I'm, it's like, it's so weird how different it is <laughs> in two separate states it's very mm -hmm. yeah. it's really weird but like i understand them still doing it for dvds and stuff if they're still in demand but books and stuff like they barely have people coming to the library like they used to so like you know script i'm constantly reducing fines for people ridiculous if someone has to pay fines yeah i've i have also done that so you know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Our library even auto renews. That's awesome. Yeah, mine did too. I was going to um, see when my things expired, and it was like a couple days before, and they just auto renewed everything. That That's a new thing. So, a lot of libraries are getting a new system. I can't remember what it's called. It starts with a W, and it's a weird name, and it auto renews, which is really cool. Yeah. Libraries are like the only resource. For, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then 
So in our system, if you had a $50 fine on your card, you couldn't use the computer. So if you can't use the computer, you can't apply mm -hmm. for jobs. So like, yeah, it was very frustrating for like people who actually worked in the library every single day and the director who was like never there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't shown my face in my library since I returned the books late in the Dropbox and owed $15. <laughs> that would be me too. Like, I would just feel bad. I wonder if you could pay it online, Kaylee. You might be able to pay it online. And also, don't feel bad. Like, truly, as someone who worked in a library almost my whole life, don't feel bad. We don't, we truly do not give a shit. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't even tell you how much I don't care. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hey. Hi. Are we ready to do another sprint? Yes. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.
Hello. Hi. How did everyone do? I got to page 100. Nice. Yeah, nice. it's 27% into the book. Also, please look at how big this font is. Um, I was watching someone else's video. Oh, I think it was Gabby's video, her haul, and she hauled this author's new one, and she's a host of Crime Junkie podcast. This author? Yeah. I didn't know that. Me either. I just learned that today. Yeah, this is her newest one. So Yeah. Um, Monica, how'd you do? What chapter are you? I am at 58%, uh, chapter 13. I am on page 72. I'm still on chapter three. Uh, four. 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 Okay. Michelle, you're thinking of a different book. Am I? Do they yeah. have literally the same exact fucking. Um... No. They don't, the covers are not mm. similar. Sorry. I mean, it's like a background and then words, so kind of, but like. Listen, that looks the exactly the same to me. The, well, <laughs> yeah, the colors are not the same. But okay. Like, the general, yeah, I see what you're saying, but. Thank you. Um, how did everyone else do? Screw it, backstab me and made all my save audiobooks only available. Yeah, that happened to me too. No. Also, my audiobook stopped four times in those That's 45 so minutes. Weird. I oh my gosh. I don't know if I've listened on Scribd like super recently, but I've never had that issue. Yeah, I I didn't realize it was Scribd until Amy yeah. said something, but it yeah. definitely is and it happened four times in those 45 minutes. So, I think it only happened for me once, maybe twice. Yeah, it's not good. But, it's not good. Yeah. It makes it so hard. You you have to read physically, or else you could miss. Like yeah, and I'm three times speed, so I'm gonna miss like you're missing a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> paragraph. Exactly. Uh, Alex, you do not have to read the book club. Okay. Okay. All good. Some I people are. Some people aren't. Yeah, me and I am. <laughs> yeah, me and Monica just happened to be, but I feel like most people are not here, so do not worry. Mm -hmm. I had large fine because my nieces lost the books I checked out for them. Marilyn thankfully dropped off fines. Yeah, it really depends. Like, we, it really just depends. I don't know how else to say it. Like, it just really depends. Also, um, hold on. Gabby, this comment's so funny because library workers are so afraid to tell you about fines. So it's like, a, everyone's scared, basically. Um, also, <laughs> I love that your name is Betty Spaghetti. That's all. I okay. Yeah, we love yep, the I Betty. love that. <laughs> just borrowed sense and sensibility from the library we'll start tomorrow that's awesome i love your picture <laughs> just gonna say that jessica mm -hmm. what are you reading that's awesome i ate dinner fed chini alfredo and watched the episode of shit's creek fed chini alfredo so it's so good I'm so good i'm hungry mm -hmm. I, yeah i just realized i didn't eat dinner you're really mm -hmm. bad at this I don't know. It's because I ate lunch really late. Yeah. And then I was like, I'll I'll just eat during one of the sprints. <laughs> and here we are, and it's 10 yeah. o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Got almost nine minutes edited of my book haul. That's amazing. Yes. Editing takes so long. I filmed for 35 minutes today, which I never do. Like, that's just not who I am as a person. It took me, like, two hours to edit it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Shut up. <laughs> And you wonder why I say I don't have time. Yeah, it's hard. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, I've never listened to Crime Junkie, but maybe now I will. I just, like, listen to audiobooks. So. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> like, I drove for, like, an hour. And I drove for, like, two hours today, and I, like, listened to an audiobook. So, you know. <laughs> How's Old Country going? 27 pages in. 18% final girl, girls. I feel like I'm getting through this slower than usual. That's not good. I feel like this one is slow in the beginning, but then once I got through all the baking stuff, I was hooked. The baking stuff? Yeah. I don't remember that book at all. She's like a baker. I remember this one exactly. She like survives, whatever, and then she like starts yeah. baking. Yeah. 
read 60 pages. 60 pages is great. Made it to page 63 during the sprint. I'm liking it a lot so far. Nice. I only have 30 pages left. Did you? I only read the first one, but I had, do have plans to do the whole thing. I know there's like, how many are there? So many. What is Death Note about? Um, it's about this guy named Light, and he finds a notebook, and it's called the Death Note, and you put any person's name in it, and they die. And it's just like he has the power of death. Is it a graphic novel? It's manga. Okay. It's been um, adapted a couple of times. It's being adapted again, I think. There is a Netflix adaption that has so much controversy. They like whitewashed light. He's white. It's very bad. Yeah. Ooh, so. I might try that though. Because um, I have Uzumaki that I'm going to read soon. Um, thank you for that. And yeah. <laughs> I got monster that I want to try. Ooh, I want to get monstrous. That's okay. in my pango cart. That looks. Is awesome. that my I favorite? think it's Deb's. <laughs> Deb, I have monstrous in my cart. <laughs> that's the same like thing. I don't think so. I think it's completely different. But okay. that's funny. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Brie recommended monster. Yes, but it was her favorite manga. So I remember her talking about that. Yeah. yeah. Death Note is good, though, but it's just, like, a, a big commitment. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I think Monster has, like, at least seven volumes. Yeah. I got yeah. the first two, but... Because um, Jack from Jack and the Book Stack just got, I think, the first Death Note 2 and asked me about it. I really liked it. It was my first ever manga. So, is like, her name Jack? Her name is Jessie, but she goes by Jack. Okay. I asked. I was okay. like, hello, I'm about to mention you in a video. What is your name? <laughs> she yeah, was like, it's Jesse. I, I was like, because it's all capital letters. Yeah. So I was like, same. Then she never says no. her name in any Ever. I like went back and watched like old videos. Yeah. I'm like, trust me, I'll ask. I'll ask people. So I asked her, I was like, I'm about to mention you in a video. And what do you, can I call you Jack? Can I, what is your name? She's like, hi, I'm Jesse. I never go by that. I go by Jack. And I was like, okay. So I almost sincerely forgot her name when you were like, what's her name? I was like, wait, I know this. Okay. Well, as long as like, <laughs> I just didn't want to like, I know be... I'm the same way. So I asked her, but she goes by Jack. So got it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I, Final Girls is my favorite one. I stand by it. <laughs> I mostly just listen to my audiobook of The Burning God. I'm almost done. Should finish it on my bus tomorrow morning. It's over 600 pages, ma'am. Absolutely oh not. <laughs> really? Did you read Just Like Home yet? I know you were going to read that soon. Is this, um, Katrina, is this one on Kindle Unlimited or is it like $2 or like, would you recommend this one to, cause I've read, uh, the clown hunt and then, uh, oh fuck. Um, I just had it. Oh, chainsaw hooker. So I'm wondering if you like this one. Made a home on chapter nine of the twisted ones. Nice. I want chapter four, right? Four. <laughs> Page 176, read about 15 minutes. I'm spending part of the sprints deep cleaning. Oh, so sorry. I don't save audiobooks on script anymore because they always do that where I can't listen to my saved audiobooks. Yeah. Is is that like the only thing? Because I just checked, I just looked at Stay Awake Today and it said it wasn't available until like I pay for it again. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, people say that like it'll limit you more on ones you've already saved because that's what they think you're interested in. Yeah. So... But that one wasn't saved. Mm. So that's interesting. Because I tried to save it. I swear, every time I try to save it, it just does nothing. And then it tells me I saved it 15 times. And I'm like, cool, thanks. Script is done. You stay awake on uh, script. Katie, do you have script? Yeah. Oh, never mind. She doesn't listen to audiobooks. Oh. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um. Maybe you'll get lucky. I always just hope. I'm like, maybe it'll come in early. Yeah, I know. Um, the libraries do not charge fines. Yeah, a lot of the libraries are starting to do this. I feel like 
charging for loss and damage stuff is just like that makes sense yeah and like dvds and stuff because they're expensive not that they're like any more expensive than books are now because books are so expensive now but you know what i mean i'm cleaning and catching up on youtube i haven't watched i'm so behind on youtube I, know. I just like yeah. I've given up basically. I just like watch people I talk to all the time. <laughs> just, I know. Oh, no. that's, that's- <laughs> it really sucks. It really sucks. Yeah. It's funny though because I do I do prioritize watching videos for people that I also like talk to on like sprints and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's who I prioritize. Yeah. So it's just like I'm always seeing the same people, which like I love I love the people that like I do sprints with. So it's not like I'm upset about it. Clearly, I'm choosing to watch those videos, but I'm like, I see you all the time. I see you all the time, and I'm always watching your videos as soon as I get the I know. As soon as I get the notification, I'm like, gotta watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the ginger comment just made me realize that my ramen has been done. <laughs> you should probably heat that up again. I don't know. It's ramen. You might not need to. It's probably still hot. <laughs> Old country is going well. It's got me wanting to read more. That's amazing. Okay love that fully caught up on editing Bye. now yes what are you reading sarah Uzumaki is so good i just bought this from emily thanks emily monstrous is fantasy graphic novel monsters manga nice oh. i just really like graphic novels i lost the footage of my tbr spin so now i have to basically redo my tbr that is mm. not good everyone's just behind on videos That's i fun. know it's like, and it sucks because the ones that I personally am most interested in are the ones that are the long videos. Because, <laughs> like, I don't care about TBRs and, like, wrap-ups and things like that. Like, I want to watch vlogs, and those are usually the longest things, mm-hmm. which I, like, I like long vlogs, but also, how am I supposed to ever watch this? Yeah. Two times speed? And yeah. Do but, it. I don't know. <laughs> The only good thing about the live action Death Note was getting William Defoe. I absolutely agree. He was amazing and so creepy. That was the only good thing about that. Um, Is he the guy that's um, the the Green Goblin? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So good. Tokyo Ghoul series was really good too. I think I'm going to read the series and the Promise Neverland next. That sounds awesome. I love you into that. Monstrous is incredible. The seventh. Ooh, that's awesome. I love Monstrous, this dark fantasy. Ooh. Yeah. Well, and he was super creepy, which I really liked. His voice is just like... I know. <laughs> it's, it's very distinctive. Yeah. I read the first two Death Note volumes. I'm enjoying it, but we'll need to take a while to actually get through. Yeah. There's so many of them, but they're so good. Um, Michelle, if you like graphic novels, Something is Killing the Children is, is pretty good. Okay. I'll look into that. I don't have any the- money. I, I got it on Hoopla. Ooh, okay. Um, I think I read the first two or three volumes. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's Jack. She wants to go by Jack. So, it's Jack. <laughs> yeah, I just read just like how my mm. life take gave three and a half. Um, I saw that Riley... Does Riley know when she's doing the live show for that? Because I could potentially try to read it before then. Just like home is on my TV. Are you on Riley's Patreon now, Michelle? Yeah, I just did that. I've been thinking about it. I think she's probably the next one that I want to join. She has a ton of stuff. So, and she's like active on the Discord. Yeah, exactly. Like, there are just, you can just tell when people are more involved in it. Yeah. Um, I'm on one that I am just like, I don't, I don't know. So, I'm not going to. Yeah. I'll have to look at Monstrous. Feel like I'm really into manga lately. It makes me feel young. I really like manga. It always takes me a couple pages for my brain to figure out that we're going backwards. But then after that, it's fine. I get distracted from reading. (laughs) Yay! What did you get, Deb? (laughs) It's so, I think it's grosser than, ooh. Grosser than Clown Hunt. Interesting. Also reminds me of a true crime story I just heard about. Ooh, interesting. I like to keep them on their toes. They never know what I'm going to listen to next if I don't say it. Uh, I, I, I mean, it could be true because I had 
that Watcher's book saved. And it kept telling me it like I couldn't read it. And I was just like, thanks. <laughs> so could be. Hi, hey, Yvette. Reading Hello. this. Book. Ooh, I hope you're liking that. I loved it. I'm going to cry. I just found wireless. Oh, my God. <laughs> I I am so happy for you. I lost a pair at my parents' house in March, and nobody has seen them. Oh, no. But I also really want to get Bluetooth slash wired, um, like, over-ear things. Yeah, I love my Beats. They're just always, like, $300. Yeah, but but they're, like, five years old, and they, like, are amazing. Yeah, I'm better than my AirPods. I've thought about um, them or I think Sony has ones that look really nice that yeah. are like um, like uh, either or whatever mm-hmm. that term is. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Emily, you're welcome. Thanks for free shipping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to start the grip of it to fit my fave trope prompt for a smart, a spooky smart bitch. I can't say that ever. Every single time I say it wrong. That would be fun. I have to edit my August wrap up. God, sorry. Yeah, I filmed and edited mine today. That's why it was late. Katrina, your vlog was so long, and I was like, "Look at her go!" <laughs> I watched the whole thing, but I was just like, oh. <laughs> "All right, you're all selling me a monstrous." No, she hasn't. Okay, I wasn't sure. I hadn't seen anything, but like, I just got on. Um, Patreon. So I was like, maybe I missed it. Also, I'm so bad at Discord. So that's also true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just joined Gabby's Patreon and Riley's. The next one I will join too. Riley's is good. She's like really active on the um, Discord, which is cool. It was good. She um, emailed me to review it for her. So I did. I'm 16% and now I had to step away for a second. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> My Bose headphones are. Oh yeah, Bose. Mm. I'm sure those are really good. Super soundproof. The book is good. Little creepy reading. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. These are really. I yeah. Yeah, I. I've had my beats for, I mean, yeah, I said that right. I've had my beats for so long and they're like in perfect condition. And I like these AirPods hurt my ear like thingy. I don't know. I have um, a date piercing in this ear. Yeah, it's going to hurt. uh, Yeah, it's like it doesn't hurt to put headphones in now because it's it's healed. But I like they don't fit very well. Yeah. And it like, I have not, yeah, I have nothing in this ear and I have like a scab on the, just this one from my AirPods. Oh, that's Isn't that dumb? Kasman's like, I, what's wrong with your ear? <laughs> when I bought my AirPods, I like purposefully made sure that I had enough money to get the pros because I didn't, like I wanted to have the like. Yeah, I should ear, have done that. But like, like your piece. Kasman bought these for me. I didn't want him to have this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just, but I, I saw that and I was like. Mm, yeah. Like, the wired headphones. headphones. Yeah, these. They don't. Oh, that's weird. no. They're like it's like the ones that you get, like the wired headphones you used. Yeah, to get like with, with your iPhone. With yeah. IPhone. And oh, it's just not good. Interesting. Still haven't done my wrap up. On <laughs> I. That's why I stopped doing wrap ups. Eighteen. Do that's so good though. I know. I'll do it. Haley Hughes. That's. Yeah, I, there's so many people now that have Patreons, and I'm like, good for you, but also for me, bad. <laughs> I know that's why I usually end up joining the lowest tier so that I me can too. join like multiple peoples. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I also have an air. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> I am so glad I am not alone, Gabby. Holy sh- this makes me feel. I don't. Yeah, I don't have AirPods. I don't have Apple <coughs> Apple products. But like that one you held up, Michelle, would not go in my ear because of no. My, my as ears. soon as you said that, I was like, absolutely not. It no. will not work I, at all. Yeah, I have a hoop too, so it like yeah. goes down and covers part nope. of the inside of my. That will ear. absolutely not work for you. Mm-hmm. It's gonna and those it never stay in my ears either. Yeah, like, these keep- kinds. Mm-hmm. This and it's all like I don't know what's wrong with my right ear, but it always falls out. <laughs> I'm like, okay, 
So that's it great. Works. I'm not responsible enough for real AirPods. So I, so I, that's smart. I only use these in my library. Like my beats go with me everywhere. Like if the kids are outside and I'm listening to an audiobook, it's the beats. The AirPods are only in my library. So I don't, like I literally lost the case the other day. It was on top of a book. And I was like, okay. I will say I also lost one of my AirPods. Um, within like six months of getting them, I took them to work and I worked at Old Navy and um, mm. I was unpacking boxes and yeah. I lost one of my AirPods when I went to leave and I was like, Wrap. What do I do? But if you you can use the Find My iPhone yeah. app, and it pings the AirPods, even individually. So I found it. It had somehow gotten kicked under one of the displays along the wall. I mean, I would never have found it if I hadn't mm -hmm. heard like this tiny little dinging noise coming from Whoa. underneath the wall. Yeah, it's scary. I Casper was like, "Are you sure you want these?" And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> 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 normally have vlogs to reference but since i didn't film much last month i literally have yeah i seriously this year i was like i love myself and i'm no longer going to talk about 25 books in one video so Just i pick your favorites or I'm pick the one it. that you have the most to say that's about. what i do weekly reading vlogs and i talk about a book for like three clips and then i move on and i'm like this mm -hmm. is the best thing i've ever done for myself <laughs> i i like so I think it's different because like Castman paid for them. I'm like more, I'm like, yeah. nope, like these were a present. These were expensive. So I'm very like <laughs> easy with them. Katrina's vlog made me so happy. It made me want to go to Target. I love, I like, I just had a great time and she holds up this very creepy doll and it's so big and it's great. And then it like cackled. I haven't watched it yet. Oh my god, please! Because Jack commented on it too. It was like I was not expecting this. <laughs> it's wonderful. I watch all of Katrina's videos. <laughs> haven't got there yet. Still haven't done my wrap up either because I'm never home alone. Oh no, that's I used to like mm -hmm. film in front of Casman. I still do. Like I cannot believe you did that. Yeah, I could never. No, I did join. Not. I think I joined um, Riley's top one to get into the book club and stuff. Mm. Mm. But yeah, he used to like stand right in front of me. And, uh, I know. Time. You can see in some of your old ones that you're like talking to him. Yeah. Like not the whole time, but like, yeah. yeah. Wild. Mm -hmm. I know. I like, I will film if Adam's in the house, but like not in this room. Yeah, Sometimes I'm like, how are you talking to? And I'm like, you know <laughs> that I film videos. That's the only <laughs> person I'm talking to. Yeah, and then he just got bored, so he would leave, and I'd be like, <laughs> "I just buy a bunch of cheer, cheap, whoa, cheap earbuds, so when I lose them regularly, I just switch to the next that." So yeah, with the stupid like Apple, now you have to have like that right air or headphones. I fucking hate Apple. Really, yeah. Really, yeah. Uh, I cannot read anymore. I've really been putting some serious thought into being. A yes, it's a, it is a lot of work. But even if you just put a couple videos out a month, like I'm mostly like obviously I love reading, and I love <laughs> making videos. But I'm mostly here for the friendship. So like, don't it's ask me. Up. I can't. I haven't made it work yet. Other than doing sprints, sprints is like the one thing I find time to do. Um, it's hard. It's, I mean, I, I always talk about how I like want to keep doing more, but then I, I end up making myself more busy. So yeah, I wish so, you the best of luck though. I know. I really so do. I can only film when like Casman can watch the kids, mm -hmm. which is difficult. So like sometimes I'll film two videos back to back, which is also difficult because then my brain is like, what, <laughs> you know? So it's just hard. It is hard. Yeah, so I feel like because of BookTube, it makes me read so much more, actually. Yeah, but, like, also, I did not read for 10 days last month. Yeah. And okay. I still put out three videos a week. So, like, yeah. I also don't work a full-time job, so that makes it easier for me. But you don't have to read every day to make videos. No. Too. I don't know when I read, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My ears are too much for earpods. Yeah. I, I mean, I like... 
both. Like these are convenient and whatever, but I do like my beats better. Mm. Last year, one of my AirPods fell out on a plane and went behind the seat and got lost. The flight attendants all had to stay late. On oh my god, that's my worst nightmare. <laughs> I did take my AirPods to New York and everything was fine. Oops, sorry. I don't know what happened. I'm really tired. Rap Arbiters, I, I like watching them, but I do not at all want to talk about 25 books in a row. Yeah, my thing is if I'm watching, and like I don't watch, I, like I cannot watch all of everybody's videos, but like if I watch all of your videos, I already know everything. So like, Exactly. Yeah. That's how I feel. We got AirPods. I was like, wow. Oh, my God. Yvette, that went from great to awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was shocked. I'm like, where do you work? I know. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> he is so sweet. It's so, um, when I left and said BRB for everyone, I was saying goodnight to him because I knew he was tired. <laughs> that's where I went. That's <laughs> my fan club. Bye, Katie. Katie. Yes, Bye, we Katie. have we have sprints tomorrow on Lexi's channel. My wrap up is is just going. If you want, <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> we ended up getting locked in extended tunnel thing because they thought everyone had left the plane. Had oh my god, Kaylee, this is this is a horror movie. I know <laughs> this is like so embarrassing. Oh my god, <laughs> I would have been like. Listen, I don't care anymore. Go home. I'm <laughs> get my losses. Oh my god! Literally save your money. That was good. At least you told them. It's so big, Katrina. I can't believe it was five dollars. <laughs> I've been living with Derek for four years. And, oh my god! I uh, whatever. No. If, man, was, if he's in the room, absolutely not. Well, if mm -hmm. anybody is in the room, like I don't even like Michelle and I are gonna film. Um, videos together whenever we meet well meet whenever I go to visit her um, and that I'm like oh god <laughs> I'm fine we can I have Castleman have... come watch too <laughs> oh, <Castleman laughs> to be there. Castleman can fill his, film his carrot tube video with you yeah oh. I think it was because Castleman was the one who told me to do it so he was like my support system Mm, I don't. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Also, I guess I just don't have stage fright. I don't know how to. Hi, Kim. Hey. Yes, that is what I do. I usually bulk film on the weekends. Lexi doesn't actually. <laughs> That's what I said on her wrap up. I said, "When do you read? Because you read so much." <laughs> I was shocked that I read sixteen books. I Me like, too. I was like, "They just keep coming." <laughs> I, I know. I don't know how it happened. Um, do you think I could be president and you could be vice president? <laughs> <laughs> I've gone to running a few videos at once in different tabs when I get behind and then popping in to actually watch parts, but at least I can give. That's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, we gotta make it work. My vlogs are just the lowest few videos, so I know I have people that only watch my wrap ups. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think yeah, it depends I think on my vlog. I like from the start have made it clear that I am a vlog channel. Yeah. So, like, I, people watch my vlogs because, like, that's what they expected from the start because I'm like, this is all I really want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I will watch wrap-ups all day. Mm -mm. Mm. Positive end to the story, though. A co-worker has an Android and gave me his. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. You could have sold those. Wow. Love that. We're, We're doing reading sprints, Kim. Everything. I've been thinking about prioritizing. Yeah, I think that's a good way to go. I know that um, Neva from Reading with Neva, she almost always does sprints like all the time. More than us. Like all the time. I was going to say like more than us. Yeah. And like has a following just from sprints, if that's helpful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I cut some more of his face today so it doesn't look like an episode. Nice. Lexi, can you make a channel, Books with Bowser, where you just read books to Bowser? I hate reading out loud. So, no. What if Bowser likes you reading out loud? I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Adam is like, will you read your book out loud so I can fall asleep? And I'm like, no. That's so <laughs> cute, though. I hate it. I or really is it insulting that your, your voice lulls him to sleep? 
He, just, like, thing thing? he wants me to like play my audiobooks and stuff whenever he goes to bed too. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't nothing bothers me. I yet. think it would be like once we start, like, because we both film mm-hmm. videos. Um, but I yeah. Uh, oh, I thought it was just... funny because well, Michelle, you said something like I don't have stage fright. And I was like, that's so interesting though, because I like grew up performing and like doing, I mean, like choir and theater and dance and all these things. But like when it comes to doing something for people that I know, if I know people are watching me specifically, I'm like, "Mm." Um, I don't know. (laughs) Cause I was going to say like my background is theater. So like, Mm -hmm. but I do feel like talking in front of a camera is different. So maybe having him in there. Mm. was just like me not having to like think about the camera yeah like I don't have a problem talking to a camera or performing but then whenever like when I think if I let myself think about the fact that like someone is here for me like watching me it makes me like oh I'm very (laughs) like I don't know I just like get really awkward in my head about like they're watching me well, they're like, watching you, we're watching you like talk to something else, not because when you're like performing, you are performing for the audience. Yeah, you're not performing for a camera while the audience is watching you. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I can't explain it to you guys. Yeah, he doesn't do it anymore because he doesn't give a shit. But like <laughs> in the He's very beginning, like, you're on your he own. watches my videos, but like he doesn't I have know. to watch me film the videos that he's gonna watch. You know. <laughs> Okay, we'll talk about this. <laughs> Halls and TBRs are my fave and anticipated. Anticipated ones are so hard to do. I my brain can't think that far ahead. I don't I'm know if I'm gonna it. continue doing them. It's so hard. Like I was getting ready to do it and I was doing all the research and I made it like three books in and I was like, well that I'm yeah. done. Any excuse for Lexi not to read? <laughs> I love reading. I don't know. I don't know. Are you the president of the Castman fan club? Kim tried to be the president of Hollow Weekend before she even knew what it was. Oh, that's true. Yeah. The talking to the camera thing really gets a lot. It really mm-hmm. does. Like now yeah. I get, I get, like I do it in public now. Like I just do not. Oh, I don't do that. But oh, I did it in um, Starbucks. I was just like. Yeah. Oh I feel like my sit down videos have gotten better because I'm less awkward. Um, because I've been doing more recently. Like, I feel like if I would go back and watch some of my old ones, I would be like, oh. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. absolutely. I should just delete them. But I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not going to. Talking to my. Yeah, I, I was just like talking to my phone in Starbucks. And no one cared. So. Really don't tell people about books. Only if you. So my. Uh, Instagram mm-hmm. was my personal. And I just made it my books. Instagram. Because I was too lazy to make a new one so if people wanted to leave they could because i didn't care about people in my real life anyway like high school people yeah yeah so and some people have and i'm like good now we can mutually leave each other love this for me (laughs) i do quarterly uh i feel like breathe that is so much commitment and that's what i that's what i did this year and uh it honestly felt harder than like I feel like it would be to do it monthly because like I, I struggled to find things for December. It's hard. It's just a lot of research. I have. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. <laughs> I, don't know I got two L's. Anticipate I guess. I was really ready to do one. I was talking to Lexi about it and I was I got like three books in and I was like, I I'm no longer doing this. Thank you. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> it, it it's really weird. I'm not like I'm not weird about it anymore, but like for a very yeah. long time I was. Yeah, it's definitely like not a I guess a learning curve is it definitely is. Like you just have to get used to it. Like stop being awkward about it really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? See, yeah. that doesn't bother me. Always, I'll cut out things and I'm like, just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oops, sorry. Again, no. well, free, it's that always you. <laughs> That's smart. Mm. I don't really do neck alley anymore. <laughs> yes, but can we only do a 30 minute one? Are you asking Sarah or are you asking? I'm asking her? you. You're in charge of the cat. Sarah is not in charge. <laughs> Kim, I know, but Kim is in charge. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. I, I was like, uh... I'm talking to you, I promise. <laughs> Did I make this? Okay. Do we want to start now? For um... Sarah, are we good to start? Wait, Sarah, Kim, presidents of sprints, are we good? <laughs> <laughs> nope, she's offended. <sighs> Too bad. <laughs> Bye. Okay. <laughs>
Hello. I was making sure I got rid of the cat so it didn't yell at us again. How did everyone do? I got to page 136. Oh. So. I got to uh, chapter 7 and that's page 112. That's where I started tonight. I know. I was like, this is familiar. <laughs> I'm at page 271, which is chapter 17. I just finished chapter 16, which is, according to the audiobook, 70%. Does what? script tell you? If you go to the saved page. Oh, I never do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yep. Are you at least somewhat liking it, Michelle? We've said this with every single one. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. So are not. you leaning towards DNFing or are you leaning towards completing? I'm not DNFing um, book club books. So. Fine, I'm liking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking it a lot, okay? I love it. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. You could have said yes or no. I just I'm like knowing, like, if, like if you like it enough to finish it, or like if you wished, like, and because I know you said you don't want to DNF book club books, but it's like if it wasn't a book club book, would you DNF it? Like that's yeah. that's as much as I. Until we have the discussion, that's I would have DNF. I would have DNF a book before. Actually, I would have been okay DNFing all of the books we read. <laughs> No. Well, I, mean, I don't, don't like. The, I don't think you'll feel feeling, that way about this one. I don't think so either. Um, but so it's not that I wanted to. Well, I did want to DNF one. Um, I didn't like actively want to DNF all of the book club books, but like I would have been okay if I did. Yeah. Uh, Uh, excellent. Ooh, I don't know what this one is. I think it's historical or um, literary fiction. One of those two. 22%, 49%. I, listen, I crumble under it. I cannot handle it. Yep. All we wanted to know was... <laughs> I can't do it. I know, but I want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Brie. Nice. You've got this. Ooh, how are you liking Daisy Darker? Finish Death Note, nice. I definitely have to continue it. I uh, just read the first Paper Girls and I really liked it. I bought the second one. Next Tuesday. Same time. Yeah. It's next Tuesday. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was like bored. 30 Eastern. Yeah, same time, same place. Ooh, 200, nice. Three pages is great. That's better than nothing. That's better than what Lexi usually does. You are not wrong. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> I read every sprint tonight. <laughs> I'm so... You do so much better at night, yeah. I will say. I do. I really you do. do yeah. You really do. Like, that is... That's typically when I read. Yeah. You do a lot better at night. During the day, I just... I don't know. It's not it's that fun. I'm doing other things. <laughs> well, sometimes I am, but like... I just don't know my problem. Is. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, I made it 54% in and I really, really like it. I'm going to pick it up soon before I do other things. All right. Do you want to talk about other things this week? Yeah. Do you want to see my book sleeve? Of course. <laughs> Woo! It's obviously not done because books are not only this tall, but that's some of them are. Uh, not this wide and they're not this dimension. Um, so yes, that is my Halloween book sleeve. I love it. Um, I have spread. Can you make camera. one that looks like candy corn? Did you say you're going to? No, I said you should. Oh. Rye has a weird love of candy corn in case we learned that it. recently. So. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see something that's candy corn, like Halloween, just send it to her. <laughs> it's corn. Oh god, yeah. it's corn. It's candy corn. I was seeing that all week last week, and then Rowan started singing it. <laughs> yes. 
It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> um, Adam tried to show me the video by um, using the voice search on our um, Roku and saying it that way. And I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> and oh, then he told me, I was like, you think that the remote <laughs> is going to understand what you're saying and bring you to that exact video. I hope so. Did it? <laughs> well, absolutely did not. <laughs> it was very funny though. Um, anyway, that was a, I don't know how we got there. Um, Sprints uh, yes. on my channel tomorrow at 12 Eastern. Katrina will be joining Oh my Michelle god, I forgot. Katrina. Yeah. Yeah, Michelle will be there too. Um, uh, she just assume, you know. assume Michelle will be there. I'll be there. Um, and then Thursday, Sprints are on Michelle's channel at 12 Eastern. Um, I don't think we have any guests on that one. And then Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern on my channel, I have Sprints. Um, I'm not sure if everyone, not everybody, I don't know who all is going to be there, but I know Kaylee is joining. Um, and then I think that is all until Tuesday, mm -hmm. which is back to Michelle's normal sprints um, at 12. And then the book club meeting is on all three of our channels again, same sort of situation at 7.30 Eastern. I think that's everything. Monica, anything you want to promote? Um, go watch their videos. <laughs> That's all I got. Because I don't got videos. It's okay. We love One you. day. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting to a point where like I probably can like cut back my hours from the office a little bit more, except for today that I had to take the day off because I didn't have a car to get to work are you working tomorrow yeah we arranged so that i'm taking matt's car oh um and he's having someone one of his co-workers pick him up and then we're going to the car dealer after work got it to pick up a new car new to us car not brand new we can't afford that mm -mm. No. yeah no i gotta use it <laughs> No. I always just assume it's used when people yeah, me too. Them. I'm like also yeah. apparently like because of the car shortage, there's like if we wanted a new car, we would have to wait two months. Oh my god. That happened to my brother. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, uh what, what do, do you, you have do? that's pre owned? And he's like, Oh, we have some of those in the lot. And I'm like, why didn't you start with this? Because <laughs> it's so cheap. <sighs> hmm. All right, y'all. We will see you tomorrow with Katrina that I forgot. Sorry, Katrina. I don't know anything. I I even set a reminder. I was like, yes, can't wait for this. And then, you know, I don't know what day it is. Anyway. I, I remember to tune in if I can get my lunch break at the right you time. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.